without a doubt, this is Hollywood's biggest mystery tonight. And joining me tonight from Hollywood, investigative journalist Pat Lalama and Beverly Hills plastic surgeon Dr. John Perlman, who you may have seen on ABC's Extreme Makeover. I appreciate you both being here. Pat on the West was 58 years old. Now, Dr. Perlman, let me ask you, this happens all the time in Hollywood, doesn't it? One doctor says no, uh, eventually people will find somebody who says yes. Well, there is a tendency for patients to seek out a plastic surgeon who's willing to do what they'd like to get accomplished. The problem is there are sometimes risks involved. And we really don't know, AJ, the exact circumstances of this unfortunate uh, death, but it's tragic and it's a devastating loss and our sympathies go out to the family. The fact of the matter is too many people take unnecessary risks in selecting a plastic surgeon, perhaps based on cost as a factor, perhaps based on the fact that he's willing to accomplish two or three procedures under one prolonged anesthesia anesthesia, but the patient shouldn't be making those decisions. They're unaware of the real risks that are involved. When a board-certified plastic surgeon by the American Board of Plastic Surgery works in an accredited facility, the risks are extremely small. One in fewer than 50,000 deaths will, uh, uh, people will die under elective cosmetic surgery. Unfortunately, it does happen, and, and oftentimes it's because of poor choices that were made. Dr. Perlman, let me ask you very quickly, why don't you go ahead and respond to Pat? We have about 20 seconds. Well, I think she's right. There's a problem that Hollywood aggrandizes surgery, glorifies it, and makes it seem simple and risk-free. And properly done cosmetic surgery is very low risk, but patients beware. Be certain to do your research, choose carefully, have it done the right way, look for a board-certified plastic surgeon who's yeah. qualified, who's going to do it safely for you. Well said. Can't be said enough if you're going to go through with it. Pat Lalama, Dr. John Perlman, thank you both for being with